We're going to look now at how to use the workspace in Edity. And one tip that I have found online is to come all the way to your Google Drive and find the folder that has the HTML5 on it with your name on it and right click, which if you're on your Chromebook, that's two fingers on the touchpad. Choose open with for that folder and go ahead and use Edity. And it will open everything that you have in that folder in the Edity program. So as this is loading, you'll see that now it has my name up here and it says first workspace. And here are some of the pages that I've already made, external home page and external CSS. Those were already in the folder. So I can kind of ignore those. Yours might say minimal and formatting. Click on file, choose new, and go ahead and come down to workspace. We're gonna learn how to use a workspace now. And we're gonna call this external CSS. We're gonna look at how to make an external style sheet. So go ahead and click create once you've got that named. And it's gonna make a brand new workspace. And the first part of it, if you notice, we're gonna hit cancel here. We're not gonna add any files. The first part of it is your folder name, and the second part of it is what we called this particular workspace. So now we're going to make the files that we need. We're going to say file new, and we're going to make an HTML file. And we're going to call this one external CSS.html. So we're learning how to make a style sheet that is external to the HTML document. That will create a file now, and we'll have our two sides to the screen like we're used to. And we're also going to say File New, and we're going to choose CSS File. And I'm going to call this External CSS and then dot CSS. I'm sorry, if hopefully that doesn't get too confusing. But we're saying external style sheet dot CSS. And we're going to go ahead and create that one. And notice uh, it'll be below it and it will say dot CSS. Now it's hard to see, but this is green right here, just like the HTMLs were green. Style sheets are blue. So that's blue. And then the right hand side of the screen is still what it's going to look like. So we're going to start out by just putting our basic coding. If this error pops up, just ignore it. And then we're going to put our HTML language equals English. And we always start with the head. And we have the meta character set equals and then arrow over and get that closing bracket a lot of people right here on line four are missing that ending bracket we'll do an external css example and now here's a brand new line we're going to put link and we're going to tell, to tell it to link to a style sheet. First, we have to put rel equals quote style sheet. That tells it that this is a style sheet. And href equals, and we're going to call it, or we did call it rather down here, external CSS dot CSS space slash bracket. And then I'm going to click down here after the head, start the body. I'm going to put an H1, external CSS. I'm going to put a paragraph. This shows how to use an external style sheet. And then we'll put a heading two. Here is what the coding looks like with a colon. And we're going to type that line again. Link space rel equals quote style sheet quote. 
href equals, and then we'll just say file name dot CSS because it's whatever you call the file. And we will call that done. Okay, so now I've got it to load and show on the right hand side. I'm going to change that second heading one. Here is what the coding looks like to link the HTML page to the CSS page or file. You could say file there also. And I'm going to give it a second um, to kind of save that. It says edit ready, so I can probably refresh the page now. Here's my right hand side. Now notice I have just linked to this style sheet down here called external CSS. Now let's do our styles down here at the bottom. And the only thing that's going to look different is we no longer have to put bracket style bracket. So we just start with the first style. For example, if we wanted to do something to the body, we would put body in the curly bracket. We could put background and we did like blue before and that worked so we'll try that again and at the end of that line i will enter and i will put font family helvetica or you can put georgia but try to change your font family now i'm going to put uh heading one and two so h1 comma space h2 do not put a comma after the two or that messes it up curly bracket and we're going to i'm going to say font family uh, I'm going to do Arial for my headings, and I'm going to say text align center, so those will be centered. And then I'm going to make my paragraphs font size 20, and I think I'll just leave it at that. If I come up here, there's a little I, and if I click on that, it says preview in a separate window, and just click got it on the next screen. And here's what we have so far. So there's my blue, my centering. I think my Helvetica and my Arial look awfully similar. So I'm probably going to change that. The other thing I don't like is I don't like my heading two centered. I don't even know if I like my heading one centered. So I'm just going to close that window because that's strictly a view. And I'm going to take out text align center. I'm going to make it text align left. I'll just update it. And instead of Helvetica, I'm going to put Georgia. Make sure you spell it right. Make sure it turns orange so it looks like it's working. Okay, let's view this. All right, everything went back to the left. Okay, now I think my two fonts look different. Now here's what's nice. All of this work, all of these files are in your HTML5 folder because you opened the folder using Edity. Clicking on the I, this is what you would screenshot also. So you would take a screenshot of this page and you would take a screenshot of this entire page. So two screenshots, okay? None of the styles are showing on this right hand side. So that's why you have to click on the I and show me that the styles actually worked. So that's all we're gonna do this week. I just want you to experiment with adding a little bit more, like you can change all the words over here and make this web page about your favorite band or something, and then come down here and change the different styles to which you want them to look like. You could make all of your paragraphs italic. Remember some of the things we've learned are font style. Let's try font. Font style italic and font Weight is how we do bold and text hyphen decoration is how you do underline. Font families can be all kinds of different fonts. Your backgrounds can be all kinds of different background colors. And remember we went out to the web safe colors to find the color pickers. And you could just copy in the hashtag code to make it any of these colors as well. If I wanted this one, I would just control C, copy that light green color, come back over here. Instead of light blue, I would paste in 
that particular color code. I'm going to view it, and now my paragraphs have all those other things I added, which is overkill. I just typed those so you can see how to do it. Uh, I would prefer you not do bold and italics and underline on your paragraphs. That's way too much. But the green worked, and that's what I wanted you to see. So here's a little bit of coding, and you can look back at the formatting with style to see some of the styles we did there. We did bulleted list. You can have a bulleted list. So, for example, I might say my horses, and I could put a paragraph here where I said I have three horses that I keep at my brother-in-law's house in Muhammad. And then I could do an unordered list. And it's Nora. Okay, and I would have a list there. And then remember down here, I can then make a, a coding for UL. And I could just make them red. As soon as you put something up here, think about adding a style for it down here, just to demonstrate that you can do all the different styles. Now your turn to try.